welcome back to Everyday Barbecue. My name is Mike, and this is my co-host, Little Leah. And if you can't tell, it's Christmas time. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been around. You know, I've been busy. We've had uh, Thanksgiving holiday go by. Work has been completely busy for me. And I just haven't been able to make time for this, which I really love to do. But uh, I had an idea this past week, and I wanted to make time this weekend to film this. So um, we're going to do some really good smoked burgers today. And I'm going to be doing a review on a couple new products from Gorilla Grills. As you guys know, a lot of my videos are done with my Gorilla Silverback, uh, which is a pellet grill. And Gorilla Grills makes that. Uh, they've also got a lot of other little products they make. This is something new that uh, they just came out with. And Shane Draper, the pit master, uh, pretty much, you know, put this together with, I don't know how long he spent testing different uh, ingredients and uh, whatnot, but uh, this is their new beef rub, which I have to say I did a little taste test and it is good I'm excited about putting that on my burgers here today um, Also, I'm gonna be testing out the new Congo kick Barbecue sauce from Gorilla Grills and I'm excited about this I've already opened that and taken a little taste test the other day, but I'm excited to see how it ties the burger together So this is a very very tasty barbecue sauce and it has a little bit of a spice kick to it and so if you can't already tell, we're doing like a barbecue smoked burger today. And I was on the phone with my wife, who's my camera woman, the other day when I thought of this idea. And she happened to be at the store and she found this Kraft smoky bacon cheddar. So I'm gonna be putting that on the burgers and I'm excited about that. I really think this is gonna come out great. I've chopped up some, uh, or sliced up some red and some yellow onion. I'm gonna do these inside. I'm just going to kind of saute these down and caramelize them and at the very end, right now I've just got some olive oil and some butter in there. I'm going to put it on the stove and I'm going to get that going and at the very end of that I'm going to add a little bit of this barbecue sauce to it so to kind of kick that up a little bit. So we're going to have these burgers built with some uh, uh, some of this Grilla Grills beef rub. We're going to have the barbecue sauce on top of the burger and in the onions. We're going to top it off with this smoky bacon cheddar. Uh, one more thing I wanted to mention, this is my new chef's knife, and I've used it now for about a month. I've had it in a couple of videos, uh, and if it's a little dirty, I'm sorry, because I just wiped it off after slicing some things up. Uh, I used that for the onions here today, but this thing has done a fantastic job, and I think I paid like 25 bucks on Amazon for this. And it's, and, and again, I want to, before I say what I'm about to say, which is that this is the best knife I've ever had. Understand that I've really never had any good knives at home, but uh, for 25 bucks, you can't go wrong. I'll put a link in the description box of this video so you can check it out if you need a knife, a cheap knife at home that does a really good job. And I've done quite a bit of cutting with this. It has yet to notice or to show any sort of uh, dulling or you know uh, lack of performance. I mean, it's just done a great job. So. Wanted to mention that because it's a good product and it's not very expensive. Uh, they package it here in this box and uh, I actually store it in here and put it away when we're not using it. So in any case, I uh, appreciate you guys joining me today. I'm sorry it's been a while since you've seen me, but I'm excited to put these together. So stay tuned and let's get started. we're ready to season so we're gonna go ahead and use this uh, Gorilla Grills beef rub and I really when I when I use the smoker when I use the the silver back um, I'll typically only have to season one side of the burger and that's because with the pellet grill you only really have to flip the burger maybe one time and sometimes you don't even have to flip it at all so uh, there's no need to go ahead and you know have to coat both sides of it so we're gonna do five of these with this beef rub and then my youngest daughter here sometimes is a little picky and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this red seasoned salt for hers. So um, if you're wondering why that was in the opening, now you know why. So we got a pretty good coat of that on there. Definitely enough for us to go ahead and tell how we like it. And I can smell it already. I just, I'm excited to, to, to taste that and see how these things come out. But now that these are seasoned up, I'm gonna let them sit out here on the counter for maybe about 20 minutes while I get the silver back heated up. 
uh, and preheated. And I'm gonna run these around 325 to 350 today until they're done. Everybody in the house likes a different done this. I'm more of a medium and everybody else is more like a well done or a medium well. So I'm gonna take one of these and put it aside and wait like 20 minutes and put it on after the others are on. So um, that's it, just uh, hang out. For me, it'll be a little bit. For you, it'll be about a second and I'll meet you out at the Silverback. All right, everybody, we're outside at the Silverback and in case you can't tell, it's cold out. I can see my breath I'm bundled up a bit. Uh, but we're ready to get these on. The silver bag's up about two-thirds of the way to the temperature. We're sitting around 235 now. I'm going to go about 325 to 350. So we're going to go ahead and put these on. I'm going to save one for a little bit later because I don't want mine overcooked. I'm going to save this one here. The rest of these are on. I won't bore you with when I put mine on. Um, I probably won't bring you back until it's time to put on the cheese. So again, for me, it's gonna be a little while for you, a few seconds. See you then. All right, everybody, I'm back. These are just about done. Uh, I've got about maybe two or three more minutes and then I'm gonna be putting on cheese. So I won't bother you with all of that. I'll get all this done, bring it inside and then show you what we have. Alright, I'm back. I got the burgers off the smoker and I just have mine here. I'm just going to kind of show you what I'm going to do with mine. We're going to build it. So I toasted my bun and uh, this should be cooked right around medium. I'm going to add some of my onions here, which guys, these smell crazy good after I put the, the Congo Kick barbecue sauce in here. I mean, it's just an incredible smell, so I'm looking forward to tasting it. And why not? My two favorite things are extra cheese and extra sauce, so we're going to add a little bit more sauce to this. And I would probably like to normally put add a little garlic mayo to this, as weird as that sounds, but because I'm reviewing this stuff, I don't want to, you know, alter the taste too much. That, that looks really good. Just look at that bad boy. Finish it off like this. Now I'm going to plate this up, and I'm going to take a few pictures for my thumbnail for the video. Uh, and I'll come back and do a taste test. up took some pictures and I'm gonna go ahead because I know you guys love this I'll slice this bad boy right down the middle and okay, let's see what we got oh yeah just look at that man that is excellent I can't wait to try this I hope you can see good. I know I got bad lighting here in my kitchen. It is a medium, it came out perfect, and it's time for a taste test. You guys ready? Here we go. The smell is just phenomenal. Mm. All right, so. As far as bottled barbecue sauce goes, I don't know if I've had anything better than this. This is really good. So the hot, I would say it starts with a, a bit of a tang and it finishes with a little heat. It's just my opinion. I'm not a food critic. I'm not a chef. I'm an everyday guy. My channel's Everyday Barbecue. Uh, but it's perfect for me. I might even like it a little hotter, but for some people that would probably be perfect. Uh, the beef rub 
you know, whatever you enjoy about the flavor of beef, whether it be brisket, steak, burgers, this really seems like it's gonna magnify that. And I think also with smoking these burgers, this beef rub seems to bring out the smokiness a little bit more too. And I noticed that one of the ingredients in here I think is smoked paprika. Um, and I don't you know, have a ton of experience using that, so I don't know how much of that is coming from that, but it really adds a lot to it. And it's, it's excellent. I mean, it really is. I can't wait to try it on brisket or steaks. This is the first time I've used it. Overall though, serious thumbs up. Shane Draper did an excellent job with this. And uh, there's a little mouse stealing a french fry here. That's my oldest daughter this time. My kids like to make appearances, guest appearances. Uh, anyway, I do appreciate you guys joining me today. I hope you'll like this video, comment, subscribe. I'm sorry I've been away for about three weeks. It is what it is, life happens. If I could, I would just film all day and all night and that would be my full-time job. Maybe someday it could happen, who knows. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna do what I can, when I can, try to do one a week if possible. If I can't, I apologize, but hang with me because I will continue. My channel has grown uh, way faster than I ever expected, and I really appreciate all the support. So please, again, like, subscribe, and visit my channel often. There's other videos here. There's my dog. He's ready to eat too. Uh, anyway, take care. Really appreciate your support, and Merry Christmas to everybody. Bye-bye.